Hello. Hey ladies, hey ladies, happy Tuesday. It is Tutorial Tuesday. We cannot wait to show you some phenomenal fingernails tonight. You have some awesome tutorial tips and then some really cool ways of doing some ombre fingernails this evening or a fingernail one. So we can't wait to show you what's up. I'm trying to log in so I can read your comments. So Hi, bear with ladies. us, ladies. Hi, Nelly. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Stephanie. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm going to be showing off the new colors this evening, Alter Ego and Shady Behavior. Look at that bling. Look at that ombre nail. Super excited. We're going to be doing all basic dipping and then one accent nail of an ombre, which I'm so excited to share with you because a lot of you guys have asked. So just so you know, this lovely shady behavior is not red, but it's not pink. It's like a mix of red and pink. It's like the perfect little, that's what I would call this Is it like a behavior. raspberry? It's like, like a, a really raspberry pretty... reddish pink. Yeah, it's reddish pink, <laughs> raspberry <laughs> colored. That's what I described it on the website. It was confused. Pink. We're like, it's just so beautiful. It's got a really cool 3D look to it, too. I don't know if you guys see Like, if you did not get these colors, it's not too late. There's still some left, and they're absolutely amazing. So hop on and go and get them. Alter Ego is nothing like Hippie Dip. It is nothing like any other color. It is really hard to see, but it has the most beautiful blue glitter, and it has the most beautiful green glitter. It's a blue and green glitter. So if you're familiar with Just Say Yes, how it has two colored glitters in it, this color has two colored glitters also. It is one of our medium glitters, so they are just absolutely wonderful to work with. I won't have this long, but it just helps me to stay in the frame. All right, ladies, I'm also turning my computer on because it just helps me to stay in the frame because I can't see the camera. Lauren says, I need alter ego in my life. Uh, I need yeah. a sale. No sale anytime soon, ladies. But don't forget, you can use your peppy points. Girl, we just had a huge sale. Where were you? Vicky's watching. Amanda's watching. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. Hi, um, ladies. I'm coming, I promise. Estella said, Alter Ego is my must-have. It is a different and gorgeous. It is definitely beautiful. Turn big, I wanna see. Okay, there we go. So we have 105 puppy babes on. Yeah. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Tiffany just logged on. <laughs> funny. Funny, funny. All right, ladies. So I wanna just go through some basic dipping because I know we have a lot of new puppy babes that have joined us recently. And I feel like although we do basic dipping every week, we don't like thoroughly describe it. Maybe. So we wanna go ahead and just kind of be super descriptive descriptive this evening and kind of share with you everything that we're going to be doing. So first we will show you the colors we're going to work with. So show them the names because I think some spelling people are having issues like looking them up. Yep we have Alter Ego which is the teal blue color and Shady Behavior which is the reddish pink raspberry color. And I'll show you again real quick. On my nails, you come up as oh, you're close, girl. I did not and I'm gonna be it. doing opposite hands, so you'll get a nice, good look at shady behavior when I'm done. Ah, uh, Kaylee says, "How are my favorite peppy ladies? We are doing oh, awesome. We are so good." So my nails have already been prepped. I will show you a close up on those. They've already been nice and prepped. The only thing I haven't done is push back my cuticles. And I don't know where we put our cuticle pushers, so I'm gonna cheat and just use a swatch stick. We're still packed up from activities last week. <laughs> um, using a swatch stick is not the best way to do your cuticles, ladies. Like, the cuticle pusher we have actually is really good. This is just getting the job done for me. I don't plan on leaving these on very long, so I'm not too worried if the cuticles are perfect at so, the moment. So Jennifer is asking, when will the October subscription box open, ladies? It opens on September 12th. It's, no, 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 no. It closes on September 12th. Auto pay takes off on September 12th. But to, re, to subscribe, if you're not subscribed, 
will open on the 8th or the 9th, I believe. I'll have to look it up and double check. So you have, like remember ladies, days. if you're purchasing and you subscribe to the box, you're purchasing next month's box and you will always be subscribed because I know we have a couple questions like that here. Okay, so before we get started, I want to go over a few things. So the nails, again, have been washed with Dawn soap. You can use any oil-free, lotion-free soap to wash your hands and sanitize. Be mindful of that because if you are using a lotion-infused soap, it will eventually cause lifting. My nails have been buffed very lightly. I prefer to use a really old buffer because it's very light on my nails, unlike a brand new harsh coarse buffer. I have pushed back the cuticles. I did not shape this time because I'm not cutting my nails and they're already shaped how I want them to be. And then I am gonna go ahead and start applying. But before I apply, I want to explain to you about the ombre very quickly we, um, with our nail art brushes. In our nail art brush kit, there's two ombre type brushes. There's the big fan one, and then there's this um, more like an eyeshadow looking brush here. Today, I'm gonna be using this heavier one for the type of ombre I'm doing. If I was doing a different type of ombre where I was sprinkling just a little bit of glitter over a solid color, this is the brush that I would use for that. But I'm doing a very heavy ombre, as you can see. So I want a nice brush that's gonna pick up a lot more product to give me that um, fuller coverage that I'm looking for. So April says, are these colors on the website to stay? Girl, they are definitely on the website to stay. So now I have to look at my hands and remember Everybody which way is opposite. These colors are absolutely stunning. Thank All right, you. ladies, we're about to jump in with our Peppy Gel number one, which is our Ready. And we are using our first color of choice. So we are going to use Alter Ego on the pinky. I'm gonna, we are using old bottles because I haven't, we haven't unpacked yet as you guys know. But when I go to pull my liquid out of the bottle, I'm doing, I'm using the inside wiper in the bottle that you can see right here. And I'm not wiping the product on the top of the bottle or the rim. So make sure you're very careful on both your number one and your number three. And you're wiping on the inside. So Esther's saying, do the nails look as Christmassy in person as they do the video? They don't. So it's hard to see in person. These colors are kind of deceiving on camera. The Alter Ego is definitely a blue-green glitter. And the um, Shady Behavior is a pinkish-red glitter. So I guess you could say they're Christmassy, but the alter ego is pulling definitely a lot darker colored green it's actually blue with a little bit of green mixed in so that's why it's a must add to your um puppy set all right so when i pull the liquid how i just showed you guys it's gonna give me a nice thin application so the key in having a successful peppy cure is controlling your liquid to get a nice thin and even application. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my ombre. I don't have two peppy brushes with me so I'm cheating with a spare one I had so I don't waste product. But I'm going to use one color, this one for the blue, and I'm going to use the peppy brush for the red because I don't want to mix the colors. You don't have to do it this way, it's just the way that I'm choosing to do it today. So Amanda's saying I need these brushes. Girls, we sell these brushes in a full little pack. I'll kind of show you the whole little pack. Yeah, show them real quick before I ombre. Um, they come in a pack of four and they all say puppy oh, no. gel. Hold on, I turned the camera. Oh no, we're looking at the ceiling. So we've got these beautiful nail art brushes and they're all in different sizes for different techniques you might use. They're sold in one big beautiful pack. Oops, all right. She needs her brush back. I think the brush. Poor April saying she's glad those colors are here to stay because her wash machine just broke. Oh, oh no. All right, for the ombre, let's get into it. So again, I'm going to pull a thin layer of liquid. For the ombre, I am going to go all the way up to the cuticle, stopping a hairline before because I want to make sure it's a nice, even ombre all the way up and down the nail. 
I'm immediately gonna go into the blue and notice how I'm holding my hand at an angle. That helps the powder fall perfectly to create that ombre look that we're going for. So Faith just said she just started using Peppy this week and she loves it. Welcome girl, we're so glad you've joined the family. Welcome, welcome. Sophia said she's so glad um, she bought these colors and she says it's going to be sad that Doreen is delaying her package. That brings uh, me to a good topic tonight, ladies. Don't forget that Monday was a holiday and the post office was closed. And then also with the storm starting to roll up the East Coast, if your packages are delayed, remember that everything goes through different hubs. So please give your packages an extra maybe two or three days. I know that sounds crazy, but... It's, it's crazy what a delay with the holiday, a bunch of packages were just dropped today, and then this hurricane is going to do a bunch of delays as well. So please be patient with us. Give your packages an extra two days before you reach out to us, because more than likely it's just the lovely storms and the holiday delaying your orders. All right, ladies, so I'm continuing with smooth and even applications. Careful to not get any liquid on the neck or the rim of the bottle. Just slowly taking my time. Taking your time is key, along with controlling your liquid and having really great lighting when you do your peppy cures. <laughs> Somebody says, whoop, whoop, so glad that there's peppy points because she just, that got her husband to let her do ten dollar the ten off sixty five. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Um, we are working with um, shady behavior, which is the red pink. It's not purely red. A little deceiving here. And we're working with alter ego, which is blue with some light green glitter. It is definitely not dark, dark green glitter, ladies. It's a good teal. So. Just so you ladies know, you guys are in our thoughts and prayers. Those of you that yes. are in the path of the storm or have loved ones in the path of the storm. My and family is there. I, say, I know Tiffany's family is there. So we hope all is well and we are definitely putting you um, in our thoughts and prayers. Katie says she got half of her packages today. Yay. Yay. Okay, ladies, moving on to the next step. We want to go ahead and wipe the excess powder off of our nails before we move on to layer two. I'm going to take the ombre brush that I used for the blue to wipe off that nail. And I'm going to take the ombre brush, our peppy brush, that I used for the red to wipe off these ones. And I'm going to use our main duster brush to wipe off the ombre nail. So as you can see, the ombre is just getting started, except this time when I do my ombre, I'm going to go opposite sides and do the red first, and then, um, I don't know why I called it red, but whatever color, and then the blue teal color over here, so we can have it layered properly. So ladies, we have a giveaway for you tonight, because our um, kit and caboodle ladies have gifted an awesome set of nail decals, so do us a favor. Hit that share button, start some watch parties, and comment because we're just going to give one of you lucky ladies a prize tonight. And they're fall decals. I'm trying to open them, but this envelope's being stuck. That one is already opened on my desk. Oh, I just opened this one too. <laughs> oh well. Ladies, I opened your envelope. I'm so sorry. It's kind of crazy. All right, ladies, so now we're going to go into the second layer of ombre. And again, I'm going to go opposite sides that I did last time, and you'll see what I mean by that here in a minute, if you're so, unsure. Estella says, who created these colors? Um, just us two ladies, or was there other people in the magic? I think the whole office had a little bit to do with that. Uh, us girls, Rahimi, we kind of like went to town and had a ton of fun. So ladies, here are these fun fall stickers. I'm about to ombre, don't be... Don't be Real in my quick, way. We're giving these away for you I, tonight. I'm kicking you out. Guys, I'm, this out. ombre is serious. Serious business here. You want to move kind of at a swift pace because you don't want your liquid to dry up on you. I love the sideways ombre action. It's like my favorite ombre to do, honestly. 
When you're done with that finger, everybody's wondering if you wouldn't mind showing your finished hand again next to it so they can see the process. So here's the hand I'm working on and here's the finished process and you can see the ombre if you look really closely the ombre is right in there on both sides and the light hits it just right. So Randy and um, Jenna share. Thank you ladies. We Thank greatly you. appreciate it. Ooh, everybody's loving these decals. They are beautiful. Thank you, AKK. Everybody's like, thanks for showing these colors. They are going to need them. Everybody needs these colors. I'm not joking. This so, is not a joke. Lauren, Alter Ego is definitely like the perfect swimming pool blue glitter and a really nice lime green glitter. It is really hard to tell on the camera and it's hard to tell on the pictures online just because it's really hard to capture. So again, Alter Ego is the perfect swimming pool blue glitter and a beautiful lime green glitter mixed together. And when you buff it, if that's what you choose to do, you get a little bit of silver mixed in as well. So multiple ways to work with our glitters. But I'm gonna throw you guys for a loop here in a little bit. Ah, looks like Cassandra tagged somebody. Thanks, girl. So what reckon, What companies do we recommend for stamping plates? I'm a big fan of Moyu, London, Uber Chic, and Born Pretty. Those are my favorites. I like when you just paint it and you can just see the glitter popping out here. Hmm. Some people are saying it looks like Christmas colors. Hard to see on the camera, ladies. Definitely could pull it off as Christmas if you wanted, but definitely could be worn as something different when you see it up close and personal. It's Christmas in September right now. <laughs> ah, Hannah it just is. hit that share button. Thank you, girl. It's a little Christmassy, but it's not like true red and true green. You know what I mean? It's just a shade off of it, a couple shades off. All right, so now we got our second layer going. Yes, I'm taking my time because I really want to be thorough with all the steps. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to use the blue ombre brush to dust off over here. And I'm going to use the red pink one over here. And then I'm going to use the main one to dust off the ombre now. And you can see that ombre is starting to set in really nice. And it's going to even out as soon as I get on my third layer here. So Christina said it's a beautiful fuchsia type red. Yeah, I think a fuchsia is a good word for it. So lots of people are tagging their friends and hitting the share button, ladies. Thank you. Looks like some people's friends are hopping on. You ladies are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, let's see. Lindsay just said she did her Manny with her clearance purchase, and I feel amazing. Oh, girl. I'm glad you feel good. That is the best part about this, is just feeling good. So we'd like to know who all has purchased Alter Ego and Shady Behavior. Let us know. Who has already added these to um, their collection? All right, I'm going in for my last ombre. So I hope, hopefully after this one, you guys can master it. I wanna see some ombres in the group. All right, so I'm going in with a thin layer. I always start about midway on the nail, spread the liquid out, and then I get real close to the cuticle to get my perfect cuticle line. If you glop it all at the cuticle at once, then you're gonna have thick cuticles, which none of us want, or at least I don't. So Hannah says, do you get birthday puppy points on your birthday or the month of? Ladies, you get it on your birthday, but you must enter your birthday on your puppy. Um, 30 days prior. 30 days prior on your puppy program. Your rewards point system, I guess. My tongue's getting And your points up. account. And your points account. That thing. So, oh my gosh, this ombre, you guys. It's on fire. Oh, so, so Molly asked, are the clearance colors going to be retired? The answer is yes. We believe so. We said maybe. Maybe. Maggie's jumping ahead on me here. So, highly recommend purchasing them in case we decide to go that route. Oops. Heather says ah. she purchased Alter Ego. She's a fool for some blues. Let's see. Oh, Estella missed it. 
Alicia says, Alter Ego is next on her list. Girls, these both of these colors are like <laughs> amazing. They're the perfect fall, summer, fall transitional colors, but they can be worn like all seasons, honestly. Elisa is laughing because she literally just said she purchased these colors just a few minutes ago. She had to have them, it looks like. Ah, uh, Jenny just tagged her friend, April. Love. Real quick, Love see how him. I stopped a hairline before the cuticle? Very important to prevent lifting. Amy bought these two colors in her six pack. Yeah. Girls, these colors are like, they're so beautiful. I really love the raspberry color. That one's my favorite of the two. It looks like, oops, I'm losing it here. Again, a hairline before the cuticle, not on it. So a birthday shout out to Randy and, uh, Randy Robinson. Wow, and Randy Scholar. It's both Happy your birthday, birthday. months. Two Randys, that's crazy. Happy birthday, ladies. All right, and I'm going working on my last dip of color here. Being careful to stop a hairline before the cuticle. But I'm gonna throw you guys for a loop today because I'm actually gonna seal my colors with clear. And I rarely ever do four dips, but I did not want any silver to come through today. Christine is definitely agreeing that it's like a sparkly, beautiful raspberry-ish color. It is a very green. raspberry, yes. Any new polishes coming in? We're not predicting any in the near future, at least. But maybe next spring. Or summer. Or something. You never know. So I'm just dusting off the powder. So how do you make sure not to miss spots on your first layer of number one? So that's all in your nail prep, lady. It's basically the foundation to your house. If you don't prep well, you're gonna miss a spot. And it happens to all of us, myself included. Sometimes you're in a rush or sometimes you just don't realize you did it. Oh wow, it's Hannah's birthday and her husband's birthday and her dad's birthday this month. Oh my goodness gracious. That's a lot of birthday parties. Happy birthday, ladies, or happy birthday, family. Um, all right, so I am going to use clear. The reason I'm using clear today is because when you work with glitters, occasionally when you buff, it turns a little bit silver. Not all of it, but a little bit of silver pops through. I don't want that to happen on this particular manicure. Usually I don't really care, but this time I do. So I'm going to do a fourth dip, sealing my colors in with clear to get the desired look I'm going for. So Corey just said, so she needs a clarification. Are you using clear on top of all of these colors tonight yep. or just the ombre? All of them. All of them. Okay. She just and I very rarely, again, I really rarely ever do four dips, but I was very particular in how I wanted my glitter to appear today. Looks like it's Janet's birthday also. Happy birthday. Wow, ladies, this is cool. Lots of September babies. I love September because it fades into fall. September's like that beautiful transition month that Look leads at that us ombre. right into fall. It is beautiful. So with the clear, it, it's going to look a little bit thick with four dips, but I'm going to buff pretty much all the clear off just enough before the silver shows. And it'll look nice and thin and beautiful like the other hand. And Molly's birthday. Ooh, ladies, lots of birthdays. Happy birthday. So how many ladies are on that are brand new to Peppy Gel? We'd like to know so everybody on here can welcome you aboard. Welcome you to the family. So who is new to Peppy Gel? Let us know. We would like to see. It's always neat to see who our newbies are on. So if you're not familiar, we have the most amazing group ever, full of all these amazing ladies on tonight. So if you have not joined our group and you need some tips and tricks, you're going to join the Peppy Gel Dip Powder Tips and Tricks group. So again, the best group to join for some tips and tricks from these amazing ladies on our Peppy Gel Dip Powder Tips and Tricks. On Facebook. Yes. All right, ladies, this is my last and final dip. I love clear because you can do it so fast because it's clear. And if you have a flaw, you can't see it. 
So ladies, those of you that are asking and wondering, Carol says, can you use French pink instead of clear? If you don't have clear, you absolutely can. You can. Just sure. being honest, it's not as clear, but you can absolutely use it, which I have in the past before we ever carried clear. And um, it's just as beautiful. Ooh, Erin's waiting on her first starter kit. Welcome, Erin. Hey, Jessica. She just logged on. So I am now working with our number two set. Please forgive the old bottle as we're not unpacked with everything we've had going on and it's all I had handy. So Veronica, um, these are brand new colors. They just released on Friday. For sure, for sure. Ladies, I got one little bit in here that I noticed didn't get the number two. So make sure you're paying attention to your sidewalls there and get the number two where you miss it so you can prevent any lifting. <laughs> Sabrina is brand new diamond and deep. She got the Welcome. starter kit and every, is it the starter, starter kit? She got the um, mystery box subscription. She is on a roll. All right, number two is applied. So now you can see the halfway progress compared to the other hand over here. Yes, my hands are wild today. They're fun. They're opposite. I don't know what it is, but sometimes I just like opposite hands. They're fun. It's the best way to show all the colors. That's about as wild as I get. <laughs> They're pretty fun. But you can awesome. see how this hand that's not complete is a tad thicker looking and not shaped quite as well after dipping as this hand. No need to worry because in about one minute when the set does its job, we are going to go ahead and we're going to um, buff these all down and shape them up and then they're gonna be good to go. So as we wait, I'm gonna leave my fingers here for you guys to look at for another 30 seconds or so before I get into the awful sounding of sound of buffing. Welcome Carol, she's brand new too. Welcome, welcome. But that ombre is literally perfection on that nail. It's straight down the middle, perfect ombre. So again, the key is just making sure whether you're doing ombre from top to bottom or top to bottom that way or the way that I did it, always keep whatever side you're working on first, slant it down to drip the powder. That way the powder will trickle down and create that ombre look and then on the opposite side, hold it up like this and it'll create that ombre look or in my case, from side to side super super easy so hannah says her daughter just tried to say hi from the phone hey Aww. hannah craig's daughter hi are you listening <laughs> so i'm pulling out the drill i like to use both a drill and a buffer you don't need to use a drill but in my case my hands lock up a little bit so starting off with a drill to prevent that is very helpful for me so let's go over our shipping again because christina just made a good point she said she ordered colors for the clearance sale and her order keeps saying accept it and then bam, all of a sudden it was delivered. So keep in mind, ladies, we pack as fast as we can for the holiday. Um, we packed crazy fast. Crazy fast. We're, I just got to let you guys know. We're like, still working crazy. on orders from Sunday, Monday. So don't and forget, this, so give us a little it. extra time because Monday was a holiday. So packages are running a little slower because the post office just picked up today. And don't forget about the hurricane and that is delaying some stops your post office, the post office might normally take to get your orders out to you. So just give it a little bit extra time as um, you wait for your packages to come. I would recommend um, an extra two or three days before you worry about your package not showing up. So, you, yep, again, you can use a nail drill or buffer, um, whatever you prefer. So we always use the kit buffer, ladies, and the one that we offer on the website, which I will be using that here in a minute. But just to get a start, I wanted to use the drill just to prevent my carpal tunnel hands from locking up. So Esther says, man, super fast. She lives in central Illinois and she's already gotten her package. Ladies, we try our hardest to be as fast as possible. Me and Alive, I think we almost lived at the office this weekend. <laughs> the whole team packed pretty much all we weekend in, in different shifts. Like everybody packed all weekend. Even the husbands were here this weekend helping. 
um, just to get everything out for you ladies. Like we did not. So don't worry if you haven't seen a tracking number and you placed your order on um, Sunday or Monday and Saturday evening. So Saturday evening, Sunday or Monday, we are still packing like crazy people. So just hang in there, be patient. We are moving as fast as possible, ladies. Oh, thank you, Jenny. She goes, our shipping's always on point. Thank you, thank you. That's very true. You can thank Maggie and Rahimi for that. <laughs> Christy says she got her first of three orders in today. Green Bay. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, oh, looks sorry. like Candace got hers today too. Man, the post office is running speedy fast right now. Craziness. Mm, ladies, I'm in love with Tiff's nails tonight. They are beautiful. They are popping. I love them. Just adorable. At first, I wasn't going to do these colors. I was going to do Northern Lights. But I'm really glad I did these. So ladies, just out of curiosity, because some people are commenting that they ordered t-shirts and sweatshirts here, who would like to see some more fun t-shirts maybe around the holidays? Do you like peppy apparel um, or not? So Molly just literally asked, are we going to restock shirts? So should we put shirts back in stock or not? We'd like to know. Should they be plain logo or should they be cute nail design? So yes, answer it that way. So plain logo or cute design? Plain logo or cute design for shirts? Man, lots of people are saying yes to shirts. So plain logos or cute designs? What's, what should it be? Tough choice. All right, ladies, I'm gonna take a little, a used buffer, but it's a little bit coarser than the one I showed you in the beginning of the live. And this is where I'm gonna go ahead and really be very precise in how I want my nails to look. One key tip I want to share with you is keeping this purple side of the buffer to your cuticle line is super important in keeping your cuticle safe and from getting nicked up from this other side of the buffer. All right, while you do that, some people want to see the powders up close. Okay, that works for me. So, I can so as you guys can see, it's a red glitter and pink. Red and pink. Your powder is actually a pink base and your glitter is red. So that's what gives you that beautiful raspberry. So your powder is pink and your glitter is red. So that's how you're getting that pink raspberry. And this one is called Shady Behavior. And then let's look at Alter Ego. Alter Ego, as you can see, because it is really hard to see on the nails and online. It is not dark green, ladies. It is the beautiful swimming pool blue. It's teal. Yeah, teal blue, swimming pool blue, and then like a brighter green glitter. So it's blue green and actually has a pinch of silver, if you can see in there. Blue green and a pinch of silver, and this bad boy is called Alter Ego. Let me show you the bottoms of the jars. People are wondering some spelling. Alter Ego. And let's show you shady behavior. So again, people are asking if it's just red. Your powder is pink. So you can see the powder is pink itself and the glitter is red. So it's a pink red mix. Pink powder, red glitter. Is the glitter red? I feel like the glitter is pink. The glitter is like, like Oz red. No. Red and pink. It's definitely like a smaller type. I wouldn't say that. Either way, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, so all I'm doing is just a quick little buff. Basically, what I didn't do with the drill. You don't have to do it this much. My nails are already smooth, but as you get to know me, I am a super OCD person when it comes to my nails, so I will take the time to put some extra work into People it. People are saying absolutely hoodies and t-shirts is what has been Design requested. No? Cute designs is what's also being requested. I agree. I think cute designs. So my nails, I'm about to finish the shape, but look at this ombre. 
before I put the shine on. And it's so funny because the color over here, um, Shady Behavior, yeah, I said that right, is, it looks flat. Like, you can't even tell the glitter is there, but once you shine it up, look at that bad boy. Whoa. It looks like I might have missed a question from Tina Smith. If you want to ask me your question again, ladies, your comments come in so fast, sometimes I lose my place. So, Tina, if you asked a question, I'd love to answer it for you. Um, so, just shout it out. So, it looks like Stephanie got her puppy sweater and she's in love. Oh, Ladies, one second. It's really hard to like. So, people are asking about my fingernails. I've got on um, the Sweet mystery Taffy. Box. July's Mystery Box. July's Mystery Box. I have on July's Mystery Box, ladies. That's my colors. Excuse my nails are got glue on the tips of them from packing, but I cut them all down this time. But like you see, Tiffany and I, these are our very own fingernails. Puppy nails. Puppy, puppy. All right, ladies, one second. I'm gonna hop back in. So what I like to do when I shape my nails is to go on the edge of the desk that I'm on and I shape them like I put my finger at the edge of the table or the desk and then I shape like this and like this to get my my specific shape but being able to hold my hand steady it's a little bit harder on the jar than the table is what helps me create the perfect shape that I'm going for versus if I just held my hand up trying to do it so that's another really good tip that I think is worth trying if you haven't yet. Actually, I'm gonna, I don't think I can move it to the table, but it's very hard on the jar because it's slippery. So Tina says, can you soak it off? She doesn't know anything about this and wants to order. Let, yes, she wants to know a little bit about everything it, it's looking like, the powder and the soak off. So Tina, um, if you go back and watch this whole video, you'll see exactly how the powder works and applies. But for removal, it's very fast. It takes about five minutes. You're going to soak with acetone and basically the product is just going to melt right off your fingers. You're not going to have to chip or pick or peel or any of that crazy nonsense. But if you want to see an actual video demonstration, just message us on the Facebook page and I will send you a link so you can watch how the removal goes. So I have a tip for Amy. She says, I've been wearing Peppy for over a year now and love it, but she has issues with the tips of her nails curving. So I have a recommendation for you ladies. This is what I've been doing lately. I have beautiful nails, but it doesn't matter what I do, underneath they're always going to be thin. Puppy gel is what helps my nails grow and get beautiful, but because I have thinner nails, I do four dips, and let me explain how I do it. Not four dips of color, you're going to change the look of your color completely, but I do a dip of clear or French pink to start. Basically the opposite. Yeah, so clear or French pink first, and then I do three dips of color. So if you're having issues with your nails curving, I know cringe, cut them all down, shape them up really well, start over, and do a dip of French pink or clear, and then three dips of color. So again, if you're having issues with curving, trim your nails down, do a dip of French pink or clear, and then three dips of colors. Tina, you're welcome, girl. We'd love to have you part of the Peppy Gel family. If you ladies are new and have never bought Peppy Gel, we recommend using the code THANK YOU20 for 20% off your first starter kit. So I would like to add to the nail curving thing because my nails are naturally thick, but I will tell you, like, I don't have to do four coats, so every person's going to be different. So if you are on the other side of the spectrum, but your nails are curving, a lot of it has to do with the length of your nails and the way that you file them and them being too dried out. So make sure like in between um, peppy cures or as your nails are growing out just to moisturize constantly. But also like if I didn't file this, you can see where the pointer here is starting to curve in just a little bit. That naturally comes like with the length of your nails too. But everybody's like length at which their nails will start to curl are going to be very different. But a lot of it has to do with dryness and the length. 
So it's very different for everybody depending on the thickness of your nails. So ladies, generally like someone's asking what does curving mean, it generally means like right on the mine curve if they curve right here, but that dip of French pink or clear first is what like mine can get as long as I want without curving. All right, ladies, I am all done with my dips. Whoop, whoop, look how smooth and flawless Ooh, these babies look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just apply my number two one last time. The first time we used it, we used it to cure our number one in the powder together. This time we're gonna use it to cure our number three. So we don't need to go quite as heavy, only just enough to cover the nail, but you don't need to drench the nails. And then, um, this next you, can part you time is it very for me? important. All right, ladies, you must. We recommend highly to set a timer or a stopwatch because you must wait two minutes between your two and your three. If your brush gets hard for your number three or your number three gets goopy, it is because your timing has been off. Your so number three is contaminated. It has been contaminated. By what? Your number two. Your number two. Number two's All right, job. You got me for two minutes. Two minutes, ladies, and this timer is going to go off. We recommend that you set a timer on your phone, your microwave, your oven, because two minutes actually feels longer than what you might think it does. So we're going to wait for this bad boy to go off, and then Tiffany's going to explain the next step. So the first step before number oh, three your is you must set a timer. Please, please, please. This is going to save you a lot, a lot of, lot of amazing things. It's going to save you from headaches if you just follow our steps on this. Super important. Can't Super stress it enough. crazy important. Can't stress it. And I know it sounds crazy, but you're like, well, I only did it once and my brush is hard. It only it takes, takes one once. time. It takes a split second. Number two is your curing agent. So the second it touches your number one or your number three, you're done. It is hard. It's ruined. There's, it's done. Same with heat contact. If your <laughs> bottles are left in the heat, they are done. <laughs> Hannah says that the battery level on my phone is making her anxious. Yes, ladies, <laughs> my phone is like about to go croak on me. Wait, is it still timing my two minutes? Yeah, the timer's going to go off. I have the timer going. Oh, it goes off? Yeah, it's going to go, okay. go ding, 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 All right, ding. so we're about 30 seconds. So what I'm going to do now is wipe all my fingers with the paper towel. What this is doing is eliminating any number two residue to transfer over into my number three very important step don't skip it honestly like we are telling you everything to make sure your product lasts and works perfectly so you got about 15 more seconds so ladies everything from your prep to your dipping process seven more seconds so again with your number three we're going to do the same thing as our number one and use that inside wiper if you get any liquid stuck on the top or the neck, you're gonna seal your bottle shut. So be careful to not get any residue at all. It's a clear liquid, a clear brush. It's very easy to make a mistake on it. So just be mindful of what you're doing. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do two to three quick strokes. Two to three quick strokes. And we're gonna wipe it on the paper towel. Two to three quick strokes. In a different and wipe spot it. every time. Yep, on a different spot every time. Two to three quick strokes, different spot every time. And what this is doing is creating a barrier layer from that number two contact before you do your final coat of number three for the shine. So if you even go too slow on your first layer of number three, you're allowing too much nail to brush contact, which is going to in turn pick up the residue because you went too slow and carry back into your bottle on your brush back into your bottle, right? So it's going to turn your brush hard and it's going to turn your bottle goopy. So you just have to be careful and be mindful of your speed. Follow us on live. Do the same speed we do while we are on live. And you'll have the perfect flawless peppy cures that you want. Make sure to, I guess, like you've watched Tiffany is some people are saying sometimes they, you know, have a hard issue getting it on their skin. Remember, wherever you put the liquid is where the powder is going to stick. So wherever you put your liquid, the powder will stick. So if you get it on your finger, 
make sure you look for that shiny spot and wipe it off your finger because you're if you're dipping in with the powder peppy gel is meant to stick so if you're getting it all over your fingers you might it might it's not going to look perfect that way no nope. so make sure you paint inside the lines ladies your number one is an adhesive so if it gets on your skin it's going to stay on your it's skin it's going to be there Sometimes it takes a little practice, ladies, so please don't get frustrated with yourself. Your first time might not be flawlessly perfect. Give it another time or two. I promise you'll fall right into the groove. No worries. And you have an amazing group of ladies here to help you, and you have us girls. Molly says, I follow the instructions exactly, and I'm only on my second set of liquids in one year. Thank you, Molly. That is a great example. <laughs> It's very, very important, ladies. Like, I know we sound kind of mean right now, but we just truly can't stress it enough. So, some people are asking, when do we do the giveaway? We're going to do it away before we get off tonight. We're going to do it here in one minute. Tiff's counting down to make sure her nails are dry. Yeah, and we stress it because we want you guys to have your product last as long as it's supposed to versus having to replace your liquids because that's frustrating. So many tips, ladies. We love to give you tips. What do you guys think? Am I wild for going opposite? <laughs> I think it's fun. I can't wait to salt scrub and lotion these bad boys up. They're going to look so good. These little girls are ready to go out. Out to my house at home where my husband's cooking dinner, hopefully. Is today the first business day since the weekend? Um, today is technically the first business day, but we have been packing all weekend. So give us... If you're counting down your shipping hours, 24 hours starts today, uh, but we recommend you give us 72 hours to make sure everything gets out the door. We will have everything out the door within 72 business hours, ladies, and that does start today. Amy also said she's been doing Peppy for a year and just bought her second set of liquids. You go, girl. Thanks, everybody. So ladies, we have some awesome nail decal stickers, so I think just start commenting like crazy and we're going to pick one of you amazing ladies at random to win the nail decal stickers from A Kitten Caboodle. So start commenting like crazy. So Cindy asks, what is the shelf life of our liquids? It is six to eight months. So if you're starting to have issues with your liquids at that particular point, we recommend that you purchase a new set. Six to eight months, depending on the usage and storage of your product. It can be drastically less with contamination, or it could go longer if you're extremely OCD careful like we are. So lots of comments coming in, ladies. We're going to give you about 30 more seconds, then we're going to pick a lucky puppy babe tonight. All right, ladies, if you don't have these new colors, you're missing out. You need to get them. They're so pretty. Okay, like shady behavior is my jam. I could wear this all the time. So Carol has a question. She says, my three didn't seem to dry as smooth as last time. It is not goopy and the brush did not dry hard. What would be some tips to prevent this from happening? Possible slightly off on the timing. Maybe you forgot to apply the second round of your number two or you went too heavy and it didn't absorb fully and then therefore it's not gonna dry correctly. So it can be several different problems, but if you go back and follow our video to the T, you'll be good to go. Alrighty. All right, let's give out these decals. So we got some nail decals, ladies. Comment like crazy, comment like crazy. They're super cute. It's like all these like fall leaves and then it says fall on one of them. They're really cute. All right, so are you doing the scroll and stop? What are we doing? We're gonna do the scroll and stop. All right, I'm gonna say when. Is that what I'm doing? Yep, scrolling, I'm scrolling. Stop. Uh, Lisa Bonetto, Lisa Bonetto. She just did reverse colors too. Email order is puppygel at gmail.com, girl, and we'll send you your nail, your fall nail decal stickers. Let me lotion up real quick so you guys can see the final. Quick lotion. 
So don't forget, ladies, too, why Tiff is lotioning up her hands. We have the most amazing argon oil uh, ever. I was looking for that. It was hiding. That's what I wanted to use. Our so argon if you need some good oil for your cuticles after you've done your puppy, we highly recommend our argon oil from Morocco. All right, here we go. Look at these bad boys. All right, ladies, thanks for tuning in to live. Thanks, ladies. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.